Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the smoking porch. I am getting ready to cater a very important uh, celebration this weekend. My sister's engagement party. Her fiance is visiting us over the next 10 days from Scotland. And so we're showing him all around North Texas. He will be moving here sometime this next spring. And this engagement party is going to be, you guessed it, a big giant barbecue. So I am catering. I'm going to be making seven different featured items, smoked brisket, smoked turkey, baked beans, smoked cream corn, smoked mushrooms, queso, and smoked peach cobbler. I think I, yeah, I think that's about everything. I'm not going to be posting two or three dozen one-minute clips. This is all going to be edited together, uh, but enjoy all the preparation and eating you are about to watch. I have just trimmed the fat off the brisket. Uh, you can see my knife right there. There are many videos available online that will show you how to trim a brisket. But a secret for cleanup, right there you see three, not just two, but three plastic bags. Put the fat in a plastic bag, then tie it up really tight. And there you'll see also on the counter two Trader Joe's paper bags. So it's going to be double wrapped. You have the fat in the plastic bags, and then that'll go in the brown paper bags for easy disposal. And I'm getting ready to put two dry rubs on the meat, a Texas barbecue salt and pepper rub, and then the gospel from Meat Church. So there we go, a very nice coat of mainly the True Texas salt and pepper garlic rub, and then a dusting of the gospel by Meat Church. Now we're going to go out. The smoker should be up to temperature around 220 to 250 degrees. All right, the smoker you see, it's at 224 degrees Fahrenheit or so, 223, 222. Here it is. It's on the smoker. It's approximately 1030 at night, and we're going to check this in about 10 to 11 hours before foiling it. And uh, we've got a lot of other things to put on the smoker throughout the next 12 to 18 hours. Okay, just a quick note. Depending on when you have your trash picked up, you saw the plastic bags with the fat, the brown paper bags, which the plastic bags are gonna go in, so it's all double wrapped. Depending on when you have your trash picked up, you may have to take the brown paper bags and put it in the freezer. Our trash is normally picked up Thursday, Friday, so it's going to be a couple of days before we can dispose of the fat fully. You don't want it in your trash cans decomposing and smelling up the place. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Our barbecue prep continues. This morning, I wrapped the brisket in foil, put a little water in the brisket. And it's been sitting on the smoker at around 200 degrees. I'm gonna be pulling it off the smoker in just a moment and put it in the oven uh, without the heat on. I'll just let the oven and it radial heat uh, continue to keep it warm. And then when we get closer to uh, serving time, I will heat the oven to around 200 degrees. Uh, it'll be plenty warm three layers of foil, it'll be great. I'm getting ready uh, to prepare the turkey breasts, 
prepare the beans, and prepare the queso. These are the two boneless turkey breasts. I'm gonna pull them out of the packaging and I'm going to take the skin off of the uh, top. All right, there are the two turkey breasts. You can see that the layer of turkey skin has been pulled off. I have them on a wire rack sitting above an aluminum pan. And this is the best way to coat them with the dry rub. And as you can see, we're using Heath Ryle's pecan rub. Haven't used this before, but I know it's going to be great. Two turkey breasts thoroughly coated with the Heath Riles pecan rub. And we're gonna go out to the smoker. It should be up to temperature, 275 degrees. There we go, our smoker's at 275 degrees. The two turkey breasts are on and we will be checking them in about an hour to 90 minutes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting ready to start the baked beans and the queso simultaneously because a major ingredient in both the beans and the queso is browned sausage. So I'm gonna be browning two pounds of sausage. Half of it will go in the beans, the other half of it will go in the queso. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is turkey sausage from my local HEB. One pound hot, the other pound mild. Of course, if you wanted it both to be hot or you wanted it both to be mild or you wanted it both hot and then add some more, uh, you could do that. But for our audience, uh, for our guests today, we're doing both hot and mild, but they will be cooked together. So here I am browning the sausage. Get one of these paddle wheel uh, devices very helpful to break up uh, ground meat, whether it's ground beef, ground turkey, etc. So on the advice of my sister Maggie, we're gonna put a little bit of dry rub in the sausage to kick it up a little bit. We still have some of the gospel all-purpose rub. This will give the sausage a nice little kick. My sausage has been browned and is cooling, and so I'm getting ready to assemble the main ingredients for the beans. Here you see a can of Bush's vegetarian beans. That's the base to this. And I'm gonna be adding, as I frequently do, just seeing what I have in the pantry, a can of their charro beans, their Texas style ranch beans, which from the ingredients are also vegetarian. I'm gonna be adding about a cup to a half a cup of brown sugar, some Worcestershire yellow mustard to taste, we're gonna add some of this peaches and whiskey barbecue sauce. My sister Maggie is right there. Say hello to everyone. Hi. She is dicing up an onion for me to use. And we're also gonna be adding some of this rendezvous famous seasoning. This is a famous uh, Memphis uh, barbecue joint. And we're gonna be putting it here in the Dutch oven Depending on the room I have available on the smoker, I might have to add, even though I don't like it, two or three drops of liquid smoke because we might have to cook this in the oven. And here we go. We've got a big mixing bowl and we're putting all of the ingredients to the baked beans in the mixing bowl. And with that, we will then prepare it for uh, baking. Usually about 250 degrees for two to two and a half hours. We're gonna put a few dashes of this liquid smoke. So people who don't know that we didn't cook this on the smoker will have the idea that possibly we did. There are my baked beans. I'm going to leave them stationed in the oven for the next, I would say hour or so. I'll start them at around 3.30. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting ready to start the main ingredients for the queso here in the crock pot. And of course, I've got the two main ingredients, two types of melted cheese, Velveeta, as well as this queso blanco with jalapenos from Kroger. We're gonna use the second half of the uh, sausage, which I browned. 
for the beans out for the queso it's going to be a can of rotel a little bit of heavy whipping cream as well as a dusting of malcolm's grande gringo mexican seasoning from how to barbecue right all of the ingredients have been readied for the queso the two types of meltable cheese a can of rotel that half pound of browned sausage I also put some heavy whipping cream in it, and then a nice douse of this, Malcolm's Grande Gringo Mexican seasoning from How to Barbecue Right. Now, it's about uh, 245, gonna put this on high right now. I'm gonna watch it, let it all melt, and stir it occasionally. All right, so we are down to the final three items for smoking. Here are the ingredients for the smoked cream corn. I'm looking forward to trying this, the Heath Riles Authentic Garlic Butter Seasoning, the ingredients for the smoked mushrooms, and then finally our smoked peach cherry cobbler. Looking forward to this very much. And here we are checking on the turkeys. They look pretty good. Now, I still have about another 30 to 40 minutes before the turkeys get wrapped. It's about 3.30 now. The beans have just started to cook. 250 degrees, two to three hours in the oven. The beans are already cooked technically, but uh, this will just help all of the flavors to meld together. All right, so the key to Texas style turkey, I'm foiling it, is for a turkey breast that size, one full stick of butter and cut in half, but cut long ways, as you can see. Uh, so I'm gonna be covering this in foil, putting it back on the smoker for about another hour or so. There are the two foil turkey breasts back on the smoker, and we have a last minute addition to our barbecue. That is some smoked beef sausage, which will be uh, heated up to temperature and nice and crispy from my local H-E-B. The cream corn is about to be prepped for the smoker. You see an aluminum pan, very large bag of corn, frozen corn, two cans of diced green chilies, stick of butter, two cubes of cream cheese, and then we'll put a nice little dusting of grande gringo and probably a little bit of this garlic butter. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the smoked cream corn is ready for the smoker. So all the ingredients have been put together. The cream cheese, the butter, and a nice dusting of grande gringo and the garlic butter seasoning. So got to take this outside to the smoker. All right, so here we go. The creamed corn is put on the smoker. In about an hour, 75 minutes, I will come outside and give that a really nice stir. We're getting ready to prepare the mushrooms for the smoker. Now this is an extremely easy recipe. Here you see some mushrooms. They have been washed. A full bottle of Italian dressing, of course H-E-B. Full stick of butter. We have an onion, which is presently being rough chopped. We're gonna put that in there too. And we're gonna do a nice little dusting of this Heath Riles garlic butter rub. All right, there we go. Smoked mushrooms, everything is ready. The mushrooms, roughly chopped onion, whole stick of butter, an entire bottle of Italian dressing, and a nice dusting of the garlic butter rub. So there we go. The mushrooms are on the smoker. All that's left now is to figure out what we're gonna do with our dessert. All right, so we have one item left and that's the dessert. But while I'm waiting to get started on the dessert, gotta check on the queso and give it a nice little stir. Yeah, I think it's about time for that. All right, so I've got the queso stirred up a little bit. It's got a really nice kick to it. I really like it with sausage. Yes, it's turkey sausage, but the last time I made this, it was with ground beef. This is really good. So Maggie, I need your expert opinion. We're getting ready to assemble the ingredients for the smoked peach cherry cobbler. Mm. Now it's done on the smoker, 
So do you think we should put a little pinch of these in it? Maybe just a little bit. Yes, the peach rub and the cherry rub from Heath Riles. Just a, just a smidge. Right. All right. Sounds good. All right, so we're getting ready to make the dessert. And our guests are to arrive at around six o'clock. So I like to have everything ready by, you know, 545. This is a pretty easy recipe. Uh, if you follow Heath Riles at all, this is where I got it from. You bump up your smoker to around 350 degrees. I have a cast iron casserole dish. I'm gonna put a stick of butter in that. And then once the stick of butter is melted, add a wet batter, cup of flour, cup of sugar, a cup and a quarter or so of milk. And then on top of that, you put your fruit mix. We're going to have two cans of peaches and one can of cherries. So I've never done this before, but it sounds and it looks great. So here you see a little rearrangement on the smoker. I'm taking the two turkeys off. They're just gonna have to finish in the oven because I have to make room for the cast iron casserole dish for our smoked cobbler. Here we go, stick of butter in the cast iron casserole dish. Taking it out to the smoker. All right, so I have to wait for the butter to melt. I've made enough room in the uh, smoker for everything. Uh, this is rather interesting, especially when you're catering for around 30 to 40 people. Uh, but I think this will go okay. There we go. We have a cast iron casserole dish with melted butter and it is super hot. All right, so it appears that everything is ready to go. Now we're gonna do a just a nice little pinch of the Heath Riles peach rub and cherry rub. This is a barbecue cobbler after all. So it's not quite 430, but there you see the three final items on the smoker. The cream corn, the mushrooms, and of course the dessert. So in about 20 minutes or so, I'll come back out here and I will put foil over the mushrooms. I'll stir the cream corn uh, and uh, we'll just be monitoring our dessert there. It is almost five o'clock, checking on our dessert. That's still gonna take some time. The mushrooms have been foiled, so that'll cause them to cook a lot faster and you can see the cream corn has all been stirred up. So I still have probably another 30 to 40 minutes for those two sides and I'll just be monitoring our dessert to see how it all sets up. All right, everyone, we are now at the final stretch of the preparations for this big giant Texas barbecue and engagement party. And yeah, you can tell I've changed. I had to take a shower. I had to put some fufu on. The mushrooms, the cream corn, and the cobbler are finishing off. I had to turn the uh, temperature up to 350. It's just after 5:30, so yeah, it's uh, we're getting to game time, just about. All right, everyone, the heat is on. Our guests have started to arrive and I am having to get everything ready and prepared. So the next time you see me will probably be after everything has been served and I can survey the main table. All right, everyone, here's our spread. There's my brisket, mushrooms right under there, my baked beans, the corn, people brought some other things. Here's the turkey, turned out really good. I have been taste testing this uh, throughout the day, part of my quality control. And I think everyone is gonna be really pleased by what uh, we put together here.
All right, everybody, I think this turned out pretty well. Um, but as you can imagine, having coordinated this over the past 18 hours, I'm very tired, likely to have a lot of leftovers. Uh, but I think everyone here is going to enjoy this bountiful feast which was prepared for them.